Maybe we can ask first Nati what she what she wants. So please tell us what is your request. It's a temple zone, temple area, so and a, yeah, nasolabial folds also. Okay. <laughs> Very good. So I just want to show So we can do the same te test like just before. Just close the eyes, please, for the enter and uh, for the gear through deformity. You see, there's a little bit more enterorbital fat coming, falling down when you put a little bit pressure on the eye. So it will be not a good indication for me for injecting this area. And when you see her. There is no so much concavity on deformity, just maybe here, but for the moment it's not the priority. Priority it will be the temporal area. You can see this up, oh, sorry, this area, how concavity is, and this space too on the left side. Just one thing um, about the annual fat pattern. Uh, it doesn't mean, uh, of course, a skin scar, because you can do, look from the transconjunctival approach, especially in young patients, when you don't need any skin, uh, you know, uh, rejection. So, sometimes by, you know, uh, constitution, uh, the patient, some patients at 25 years old, they have an annual fat pad, and we can propose them a transconjunctival uh, fat removal. And uh, it's very interesting, it's an uh, outpatient you know, procedure, and you, once again, you see this uh, compression of the ocular globe, you see the bulge, and it's interesting to remove, or sometimes to overturn this hernial fat pad from the orbita on the arcus marginalis. So for Nati, for example, she, she has no skin excess, so of course we won't do any, we won't do sorry any subciliar uh, incision. We will we could go, you see, transconjunctival to remove especially the internal uh, orbital fat pad. So don't hesitate even in young patient to send your patient this patient to a blef uh, for blepharoplasty to a plastic surgeon. It's not a competition. It's a collaboration. And after you can do the the filler injection. It's a logical way to do it because if you inject in a, you know uh, in this kind of uh, annual fat pad, you can have you know uh, an excess, and she will look unnatural with a maybe a, a puffy, puffy mid face. Okay. So you can lay it down, please. Yes, perfect. So first the temple. Yeah, we'll do first the temple on the left side. So. Your zygomatic arch here, it's the inferior board of your temporal area. The temporal is line, you can touch it also, orbital rim and the hairline. Forte, please. So we will use the same Forte Aperline product with the very good viscosity because we need the volume restoration in this area. In Asian people, uh, in Asian people, sorry, the lateral uh, part of the face is uh, generally a bit uh, narrow. And uh, look at uh, Nazi; she has a very short temple, and globally uh, speaking, a short forehead, but especially a, a short uh, temple. The distance between the eyebrow tail and the hairline is very short. So. It could occur that you, your entry point could be in the hairy zone, and then you go down. In high temple, you, enter, you, you will enter the skin, but in short temple, you, you could have to inject, to, sorry, to, entr to enter in the, in the hair. It, this is not a problem. Of course, you are not going to, uh, to uh, inject the hairy zone because there is no interest, but you can enter a bit higher in the hair. Here, I uh, pressure will go directly because his injection is very low and not risky for the nerve. Yes, so it will be injection here, near to the sigmatic arch, very low, and 
just have us one centimeter of the orbital rim and deep. So we have one point five, one point six, have another bit more. This one very deep. Oh, so you see, uh, pressure is very close to the orbital rim, which is good because you want to make the transition, the junction between the orbital rim and the, the temple smoother. So it's very close to the target and in a safe zone because you see the nerve here is at least one centimeter away from the eyebrow and also another landmark is always at least a centimeter below the artery so sometimes when you have a very low artery if the artery will be for example here the nerve could be a bit lower so it's a good it's a good uh, landmark the nerve is always 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 yes. below yes. at least one centimeter from the artery a lot of variations, so uh, you have the, you know, the general anatomy, but you have also the specific anatomy of your patient, so you have to assess the patient's anatomy, you have to draw, and uh, it's important. Here, you see the short forehead, small, short distance, so probably, could you, could you, could you feel the pulse of the artery, do you feel it? Uh, Yes, when you, yeah, yeah. when you put your finger here, you have a small vein just over and you can feel the pulse, the pulse here with okay. the temporal artery. Okay. So it's quite low. Why? Because the, it's a short temple. So the, the, the nerve is probably a bit lower than uh, it should be. Yes, okay. so the injection should be a little bit lower of, the, of this nerve. The nerve yeah, a little bit more because to make this transition, in this area, and just to finish this range. So here we go. So when you have a little bleeding, I, uh, I recommend to, uh, to change of zone to ask your assistant to make five minutes compression and to inject. Uh, so maybe we could ask your assistant to uh, to make a little compression, and we will go to the nasal labial fold because we have. Uh, uh, only a few minutes remaining before the end, and we, we have also a sun model, no? Where is the sun model? No? Yeah, we'll just a little bit of the nasolabial folds after that with the first patient, and for this lady too, a little bit of I think it, it could be interesting to do it on Nati. Why? Because uh, in Asian people, uh, there is now a lot of uh, differences in the mid face, especially, you know why the, 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 lo the nose is, is a wider? because actually the piriform aperture is bigger. So by a deep injection here on the premaxilla in, in the canina fossa, you can uh, of course feel the nasal labial fold, but also project the premaxilla and narrow the nose. So in Asian people, it's a very good, it's a double effect and interesting. So maybe you can, uh, you can, you could uh, show can, us yeah, we can on one, one side, maybe we the right just, one. Uh, we'll get to the left side here. So, first of all, touch the zone, is here, on this zone, it's important to have deep injection. Sorry, sorry, Prashen, just before to inject, could you draw, maybe you have a, a pencil, this triangle, because it's a crucial. This triangle is, uh, has the reputation to be, the, the thing to be very dangerous, because uh, you, can, you can have necrosis. But actually, it's dangerous if you are in the levator uh, labi superioris. It means in the smas. If you are very deep, no danger. But you have to show it. So if you could draw. You have a pencil? So the, the triangle, what we call sometimes the Hollywood triangle, because it's a very, it's a very uh, efficient, you know, uh, pulp effect in a movie star from Hollywood. Um, this triangle, 
is uh, very interesting to uh, to announce deeply. So you hear? Yes. So probably there is a vessel. Yeah, just... for sure there are vessels. But if you go deep on the bone, doesn't matter if you injure uh, the the artery because. Uh, an hematoma, a bruising, is not a problem. What is uh, dangerous is uh, intravascular injection. But, look, the artery is in this direction. You inject, you inject perpendicular. So it, it, it will be a very, 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 very bad luck to inject intravascular. Because to inject intravascular, you have to, pay, to perforate only one wall of the artery. So, it's much more dangerous if you use, you know, a parallel injection exactly on the path of the artery and uh, you should, in this way, penetrate just one wall. Actually, it's quite impossible because, you know, if you use a cannula, it will, uh, it will bound on the wall. It's very difficult. So I think, you know, uh, this, um, this uh, risk of uh, intravascular uh, uh, injection is uh, is very low. We can see the results with only one point, just a little bit below the camera, please. Can you turn you left? Can see, yeah. That is, turn left, yes. A bit more? Turn left? Yes, perfect. Thank you. So we are we are able to see here the the, the effect. It's interesting because it's uh, as it's deep, it's homogeneous. Good. So only with one point, so you can correct your nasolabial thought also. And after, if you want, you can also inject superficial, so it, it's a double layer injection or sandwich technique, superficial and deep, but never, never intermediate. Why? Because look, in this uh, cadaver, you have this triangle, so you see here the levator labi superioris, and the levator labi superioris uh, has the fascial artery. The fascial artery is finishing here, close to the ala in the... Lev in the um, in the level of the levator labi superioris.